Paris Campbell is electing to use the number one for the Indianapolis Colts going forward. Congrats to him. Yeah, yeah. Paris. Paris is an explosive player. Hey, he's been injured a little bit, obviously, here to start his career. But if he gets the ball, he's healthy, he's electrifying. That number one from the Indianapolis Colts is going to look beautiful out there. I'm excited about this. Is there going to be a lot of number changes? Everybody's wondering. Darius, you said early on in this process that the single-digit number rule being able to be opened up for more people, Mm -hmm. uh, aside from offensive linemen and defensive linemen, it's going to get opened up, though. You said punters and kickers are going to start losing their number. If I was still on the team right now, Paris Campbell tells me to get out of the fucking number one. I'm probably going to have to get out of the number fucking one if I had to. No. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to earn that shit. I see who it is. But I I, I am pumped. That that T.Y. T.Y. say, you know, I want to go back to. Carson. Carson, by the way, comes in. Carson Wentz comes into the team. Hey, Pat, think about number one. It's like, all right, you're the fucking quarterback. All right, yeah. you do what you got to do, I guess. I mean, I hope you play like you played a couple years ago, of course, obviously. But Unless you're fucking Michael Pittman, who had, you know. Danced on his grave. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. It's your quarterback, <laughs> yeah. man. That's fascinating. A lot to learn. Fascinating. But he's, I, from what I've been told, he is, if he can be healthy as well, very good. Yeah. Paris, uh, Paris Campbell wearing the number one. He's allegedly very, very good whenever he gets going. T.Y.'s back. Carson Wentz is maybe back. Jonathan Taylor, Naheem Hines. A.J., maybe the Colts go win the Super Bowl, huh? Oh. Maybe the Colts go win the Super Bowl, especially with him wearing number one. Now that number one's back out there, people haven't talked about this. There's been zero Super Bowl appearances since there's been no number uh, one oh, on that wow. on the field there for the Colts. People forget about that. This could be the thing that turns them all around, A.J. Hawk. Hey, it's a good thing that you reminded people about that. That's a big stat. I think people have been overlooking. Everybody else is saying it. On t- it wasn't me. It was like, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm observing report. Other people are saying that. Well, thank you for, for relaying the message. But are you are you coming out here and talking about this because you're upset Paris didn't give you a call to ask you if it was all right if he wore number one? No, no, no. I actually said, like, I thought there was a chance that old um, um, Pittman – was going to go to one. When Carson, like, I actually thought that when Carson came, I the natural thing was like, okay, Pittman's going to give, <laughs> okay, and that, Pittman's going to give him number 11. We, we just, I just assumed that that was going to happen, and, and I was wrong, obviously. That did not happen. And I was like, oh, Pittman's probably going to go to one. And then I had to, like, think to myself, like, he is flashy. Like, that number one would look great. It would be great to see it back out there. So I've already come to the very much understanding that the number one is a great number to wear, and the Colts one is there. But with that being said, Let's hope Paris has his best year yet. Yeah. Where were you on Jer- you? You were top yeah, Jersey yeah, sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going. We were moving. We were moving product, and at the same time, I was yeah. I was on the Dick's uh, top Jersey selling list. Yeah. I think I was the first punter or kicker to ever make its way onto that weekly sell or whatever. And then that weekend, um, a guy climbed up the stairs or something and uh, <laughs> picked up a, a backpack and uh, wrote a tweet or something like that. And he got honored at halftime with a number one jersey with his last name on it. And uh, it was a big celebration. The guy took a shit in a porta potty and he got a... Uh, that's what the Colts were doing. The Colts were just handing out ones to all these people, right? <laughs> that I was like, if they did something, can we at least do it? Yeah. And I feel like my jersey is selling right now. I feel like we could... So I got a little bit bitter about that. And then an Olympian came in. I'm like, man, that's cool. Olympian's cool. Hey, you Wait, what you. number... But what number are you supposed to give them? They give them number one because, just, hey, you're number one. It's for you. Yeah, the figure the fuck out, dude. That ain't on me. So, give him, okay, let's give him number seven. They'll be like, hey, what's the meaning behind seven? Give him big zero, dude. I don't care. There you what, go. Dude, Double zero. Right. Hey, give him a, there you go. Hey, give him two ones. They're, hey, look at you. You're worth two number ones or, or something. <laughs> but it was just like number. It was just like, I was like, God damn, this place. And then it was just, they had that though before I got here. So I kind of interrupted their whole thing. And I learned that later. But it was just one of those things where I did once have some feelings towards my name on the number one. Uh, but those have since passed long, long ago. Like, hey, listen, <laughs> that shit does not matter at all, at all. But I am pumped that guys are going to potentially look dope out there because the number one looks awesome. The number two looks awesome yeah. if it's on, like, a linebackers. Like, there's there's some really cool-looking things as a fan. But Tom Brady hates it, so I hate it. In a few years, it's going to be just like Little League, Little League football. When you showed up to the park and you saw the guys who had those single digits were usually – the dogs. And it's going to be the same way in the league now. Defensive lineman in college. Single digit. It's like, okay, that guy probably a running back back in the day. Now he's put on some weight, and he's still just as athletic and big and can hurt you. Like, that is – it is a good way to just automatically go, oh, I remember what you – I just found out what you used to be able to do. Yep. Now you're in a whole different position. It is – Tom Brady hates it. Hates it. Tom Brady hates it, AJ. 
Have any D linemen committed to wearing a single digit yet? I don't think they're allowed. Tom circled them. I think oh, they can. Yeah, it's the uh, outside linebackers. Why is, I wonder why he hates it though. Just calling out the mic. Now he doesn't say Mike fifty. Now Mike, you know, Mike seventeen. Oh, you just think Tom Brady's overreacting to this? Get out of here, Darius. Twenty one years. I mean, come on, Tom. I mean, he, did he complain when it, when it first came out, or after it actually changed? As it got passed, he yeah. screenshotted five, six times. Said, "This is dumb." Circled things. This is stupid. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? He's not happy about it because he said it's gonna hurt. Uh, he said it's going to create some bad football because you're not going to be able to break down defense as well. Which Darius can't identify sense. him. Yeah, can't Hard to identify, identify him. at the line of scrimmage. I guess what position this guy. Is. Who's who? So defense has to do that, right? When Taysom Hill jogs on the field, you have no idea what position he's playing. Yeah. So that is like kind of an advantage that awesome offenses have, and defense have always had to react to the uh, offense. But in this one, I think Tom Brady's like, well, it's going to be tough for us to identify what who is potentially on the field and what's on the field. So it'd be all right, Tom. Tom will figure it out. Yeah, Tom's, not, right. Tom's not talking about for Tom, by the way. Tom's talking for the for quarterbacks the younger than him. In the future. The future quarterbacks. Tom doesn't give a fuck Tom, about those guys. Yeah, he does. Whoa. Tom doesn't give a fuck. Tom, Tom, he texted Trask already. Yeah, he already texted Trask and said, welcome to Tampa. Let's start throwing.